professional designer, you'll often need to record a presentation for various asynchronous training materials or just any training materials in general. You might need, just need to record a quick screen grab or just to record an entire presentation to be turned into a video. So two main ways we can do that or two main um, platforms that allow us to do that is Zoom and Google Meet. Um, they each have a great feature where you can record a your screen, you can record a presentation, and very quickly apply some audio, some narration, and then export that as a nice little video directly to another platform. So to begin, as you can see, I've got my Zoom open and I also have my presentation open in the background. So I have my Zoom. You can actually choose not to turn on your video if you just want to, want to record the screen. Um, but I'm going to share my screen and choose which desktop I would like. So I actually just want to choose this uh, Chrome tab that I have open to be able to show that. And so I'm just going to select that. But you can choose your desktop or you can choose some other um, device that you have plugged in. So I'm going to choose which one I want and hit share and it's gonna make it full screen. So I'm just gonna be able to see that. If someone else was on the call, you'd be also be able to see their cameras, but this is for me to be able to quickly share a presentation or to record audio on top of this presentation and then share it as an entire video. So I can also use my Zoom controls up here to record this narration over the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my presentation open and then I'm gonna to go to the more button and hit record. Recording in progress. It's gonna let me know, hey, we are recording. And then I can start talking and uh, give my presentation as I need to or as I normally would. Once I'm done, I can pull my Zoom controls back up and hit the stop pause if I wanted to take a break or I could hit stop recording to be able to tell it that I am finished. So I'm gonna hit stop recording recording stopped. It's going to let me know that it has turned off and then I can also hit the stop share if I'm ready to, to not have that on anymore. What's important to note here is that the recording will not pop up or tell you where it is until you have ended the meeting. So I need to end the Zoom meeting to be able for it to start converting that video to a file that I can uh, then go and grab. So I'm going to hit end meeting and then it's usually gonna pop up a window that says it's converting this, um, it's just cleaning things up, and it's usually gonna pop up a folder to tell me exactly where it is. This is most often in your documents uh, folder on your desktop, but this is the one I want here, the .mp4 file that you'll see here. It'll give you like just the audio. This is the .m4a. Um, it will give you some other things that were just in the Zoom meeting, but what I'm really interested in is the .mp4 file. So I can click that and then drag it or save it to whatever um, place I want to, to be able to make edits if I want to in another program to add some um, snazzy uh, pre animations or things to, to cut this or edit it in the way that I'd like to. Um, but that is really what I need is that .mp4 file. You can also record a presentation or your screen using Google Meet. So you'll need to have your Google meeting open and then also whatever you'd like to share on screen, go ahead and make sure that is open as well. So you've got some options down here, just the same as you did in Zoom. So you can mute yourself, you can turn off your camera while you are recording, and then you'll be able to pull up whatever you'd like to share, either the presentation or whatever you'd like to show on screen by hitting the present now button. So whenever you pull that up, you can share your entire screen by selecting a desktop window. You can uh, choose a different window or you can choose just a tab that you have open in your Google Chrome already. So I have a presentation that I would like to show in a tab. So I'm going to choose this tab option and it's going to pop up pretty much everything that I have open. So I'm going to choose this slides that I have open to share on screen. So you'll be able to see that. I'm going to go back over to my meeting. See, I have the different tabs up here. And now I'm ready to record. So on recording, I'm going to go to the more options button. I can do a lot of things for this meeting, as you can see, but I want to start recording. Um, so I'm going to hit record meeting. 
So it's gonna ask, is this what you want? It's gonna show up a different window here for recording your video call. So I'm ready, I'm gonna hit start recording. And then it's gonna say, hey, is everybody ready? Make sure everybody's ready. This recording is going to stop or going to start. I will give you a hint here that it does take Google Meet just a few minutes to start. So don't immediately start talking or whatever you want recorded because it is gonna take a minute for it to start. So hit the start button and you'll see that it's kind of uh, spinning here. It's not ready yet. It still says recording will start soon. Don't start recording or talking for your recording until you get a red light that says, Yes, you are recording because whatever you have up to that point is not ready yet. All right, so now we've got our red light on. We are officially recording. And then I can actually go back to this tab and hit the next slide if I'd want to advance the slides that's showing in the meeting. So it's a neat little uh, feature of using a different tab within Google Meet to just show a different tab that's already open. But you can also show your screen or show a PowerPoint, just something else um, here. So once I'm done with my presentation or whatever I'd like to show on screen, I would like to stop recording. And just like with the start recording that took a minute or two, the stop recording is going to do the same thing. So always wait until that red light goes off for you to have an official end to your recording. So I'm going to hit stop recording. And the red light went off, so we're good. And it will also says, you saw it down here at the bottom, the recording will be saved directly to your Google Drive. So in your Google Drive, you'll see a folder that says meet recordings. And there will be your, your video that you have saved from this presentation from this Google Meet. You can download that as an MP4, a video file, and then you can share it to something else or whatever platform that you'd like.